I was uh, by the pool, this was probably about 8 in the morning, and we were playing by the pool, and all of a sudden the world starts to shake, and you don't really understand what's happening, and then you start to hear screams, then you all of a sudden see a black wall. And many times when we think of a tsunami, we imagine a big wave that you can recognize. It's really a massive wall that approaches so fast, and you know, before you even understand what happens, you're being drowned, you're being pulled underwater, uh, and it's, you know, you lose consciousness. Uh, and then when you can finally come up and, and get breath, uh, you don't see the world, you see people floating, people screaming, uh, you see you know, torn buildings, and then it's hard to recognize reality uh, in that moment. But it's not a bad dream. It's something that can happen to anyone at any moment. And I think that's why it's so important that we do something about it. We know that these things happen. We know that we can't know exactly when, but that they will happen. And that if they do and we haven't prepared, many, many people will die. Uh, again, and it, it elicits that responsibility that we have to improve the current circumstances around the world. It needs to be a movement that is born here in the UN and then spreads to different governments and then from the governments to the people around the world. <laughs>